Morning. Today is Sunday, December 3rd. So today is pretty much going to be a chill day. Uh, I need to prepare for my next leg of the trip to either Taipei or Hong Kong. So I'm not sure where I want to go yet, but I'm going to probably do research and probably edit today and then maybe eat at a couple places. But I also need to do laundry today as well. But what's nice about this place is that we can actually do laundry here. So they have two washers here that we can do laundry in and there's instructions too, which is nice. Unfortunately, well, this is similar to Korea, so it's nice that they have the electric dryers, which is nice because it's a lot quicker, but you can put coins in, but it's 30, 30 minutes for 100 yen, so I'll probably take 200 yen for my clothes to dry. But similar to the Korean prices when we were at the Gochitel. They also have a drying rack outside, but I'm not a fan of this because if it's windy and your clothes aren't secure, they have a chance to fly away. All right, so I have about 30 minutes. I put my laundry into the washer, so we're gonna go grab some lunch. But uh, the place we're heading to is called Family Mart. So this is similar to Lawson's, the 7-Eleven, which are a convenience store. But I heard that their chicken is really good. So we're gonna go to Family Mart and get some chicken. All right, so this is Family Mart right here. But this one's a little bit different since it's Asakusa. But I've been to ones that are bigger like a 7-Eleven. So this is the smallest one I've seen. So Family Mart has similar selections to uh, 7-Eleven stuff. They have pre-packed food here. You can get drinks here. Get ramen. If you get ramen, you, I think you can actually eat it here. Actually, you might not. This, this location might be too small. They have alcohol, frozen food, ice cream. Haagen Dazs crispy sandwich. More ice cream. Well, the ice cream selection here is much bigger than 7 Eleven by my place. And then stack of energy drinks. They have pre packaged food here. They also have sushi here too if you want sushi. Five bucks? Five bucks? Yeah, about five dollars. Mm. And then they have onigiri here as well. They have chicken here, katsu. This one's like grilled chicken, I think. And then they have yakitori, which is like uh, chicken on a stick. But actually looks really good. You can also order odeng here, which is like fish cake and broth. And they have baos here too. So here they heat up all the food for you and then they'll put it in the bag. Oh. So they actually have a bigger entrance for the family mart here. So I just went into the super tight corridor instead. So we're gonna head back. Alright, laundry is finished. For the most part, it's still pretty damn. So, another 30 minutes. Alright, another 30 minutes. Hopefully it'll be dry then. Alright, this place has a rooftop area that I haven't been inside yet. Wow. This is actually a pretty nice rooftop. Tables here. Get a nice view. Oh, Tokyo Sky Tree right here. This building is like in so many of my clips. So what we're actually gonna do up here on the rooftop is just chill for a bit and then we're gonna eat all our food that we got from Family Mart. All right, let's start with our skewers. Oh, they're still pretty hot. Here's our three skewers from Family Mart with the Tokyo Sky Tree for scale. All right, we're gonna try our first skewer. So I think this is some kind of fatty chicken. Pretty excited to, to taste this, it looks really good. Mmm. It's pretty fatty. Mmm. Solid. All right, this one is definitely our grilled chicken skin. 
Looks really good, juicy, fatty. <laughs> mm. Definitely just okay. Like, it's still a little bit too chewy. Um, for the most part, this one is really good at uh, yakitori bar where they grill it on the spot and then it becomes more crispy. But this one's just okay. And then now we're gonna try our third one. So this one is our chicken, I believe. This this actually has chicken meat. The first two are kind of like fatty pieces. Oh, this one looks so good. All right, we gotta take a bite into this. Mmm. This one's really good. Mm. Has a nice sweet soy sauce glaze on it. A little fatty. There's fat piece just hanging off this. And the meat is really good as well. Mm. So what we're gonna have next is this family chicken from Family Mart. So we're gonna actually open this. So what's nice about these pre-packaged containers from Family Mart is that this actually keeps it warm. And then there's enough like uh, enough air coming out so it doesn't get too soggy. So I think it's still crispy chicken. But with this convenient packing design, you can just rip it. Boom. And then now you have a nice wrapper for your chicken so you can eat it on the go. And then you don't have to worry about getting your hands dirty. It's pretty convenient. Alright, so here's our chicken from Family Mart. So this one is the... It looks like it's a grilled or oven baked chicken and then um, it's boneless. Here's our boneless fried chicken and then here is our family mart chicken but with the bone. It's a drumstick so we're gonna try all three. All right the first thing we're gonna test is this fried chicken from family mart. It's the original boneless one. Let's do a rip. Oh pretty tender juicy. There's some juices leaking out. All right, we're gonna take a bite into this piece of chicken. Hmm. This chicken is actually really good. Hmm. So this piece of chicken is really lean, but it's so juicy and tender. And then the outside uh, crust of it is still a little bit crispy, and you can definitely taste like um, a little salt, a little pepper. It kind of reminds me of KFC, except. The chicken's more juicy. The next piece that we're having is the boneless one. And I think it may be grilled or oven baked. But we'll, we'll do a rip test for this one. Definitely a little bit tougher to rip than the fried chicken. Alright, we're going to do a taste test for this piece of chicken. Uh, it feels really fatty and then uh, it's juicy as well. Okay, chicken, really good, but it has the same problem as the yakitori skewers um, with the chicken skin. So the chicken skin is still a little bit chewy, it's a little bit too soft. I wish it had a crispy crust, but you know what? Uh, I can sort of forgive it, seeing how it is uh, from a convenience store. But the chicken meat itself, it's superb. Mm. <laughs> the last piece we're going to try is this chicken drumstick. So we're going to do a tear test. This one actually has a bone in it. Ooh, a little bit tough to rip. Alright, we're gonna do a taste test of this one. Mm. For this drumstick, it's just okay. Uh, for the most part, Chicken is not as soft and tender as the other two pieces that I have. And then um, the skin is very oily. Like I can still taste the oil in my mouth. Okay, if I had to pick out of the three chicken pieces that I just had right now, I would definitely pick the first one, which was the original boneless fried chicken. So that one's the best out of all three. It's not too oily. The meat is lean, juicy. Uh, the skin is still crispy. Oh, that one was really good. The other two had uh, some problems with the skin where I didn't enjoy it too much, where the skin uh, still felt a little bit too chewy. Um, the one with the chicken bone in it, actually, it, it was too oily for me. I didn't enjoy it as much, and the meat wasn't as tender. For the yakitori skewers, I definitely recommend you getting uh, the yakitori with the meat in it. Uh, the ones that were too fatty were a little bit too chewy and also um, 
I would have preferred it grilled. Like when it's grilled, it's really crispy. The, the fat just kind of melts in your mouth. It's really good that way. But overall, I pretty much enjoyed the chicken from Family Mart. It's actually pretty good chicken for a convenience store. I didn't have much uh, high expectations for this place because I was like, uh, how could how good could it be? Because I've had convenience food from like 7-Eleven in the States and it's just okay for the most part if I'm hungry. But what I'm going to do now is just finish eating, finish my laundry, edit a bit, and then maybe I'll grab dinner at a spot or two today. Alright, so I'm currently in Asakusa right now. We left the guest house in order to get some dinner. Of course, it's food related. But we're heading to Mamburan right now, which is known for their Hamburg steak. So this is a dish that I really wanted to eat since uh, I've seen it so many times. Um, in Japanese restaurants and TV shows and stuff, it's like it's a signature item that they have here and I wanted to try it here from Tokyo. So we're gonna head to Mamburan and then grab a bite to eat. So we're currently at Mamburan right now. So here's their menu. So this first page is like Hamburg steak. Uh, there's two prices, I think. The one for 9.50, maybe it's a bigger portion or it comes with something extra. So 8.80 and 9.50. They also have regular steak if that's what you want. Sirloin steak. And they have, looks like a variety of pastas, curry, tempura, tonkatsu. So they have a pretty extensive menu here. Seafood, alcohol. Mm. Alright, we're inside Mumburan right now. So they have an English menu here. So let's see. We can just order from the menu. So we're gonna order from the Hamburg steak menu. It's French taste, this one looks good. Or Japanese taste. Soy sauce with onion versus a mushroom sauce. Alright, so we just ordered our food, we're just pretty much waiting for it. But this place is pretty big and it seems like a lot of celebrities have eaten here. So you can see like all the autographs on the wall. So they have autographs on this wall here. There's like autographs behind me on these walls. And they're pretty much placed all around the restaurant. So we're just waiting for our hamburg steak and then we'll eat. Uh, oh, so there's our hamburg steak. It is steaming hot. So here's our hamburg steak, French style. So what makes it French style is that we have a mushroom sauce right here. And then it also comes with pasta corn and green beans. So I actually have a fork and knife and I heard these steaks are really tender so let me see if I can just cut through it. Oh no knife needed. Oh you can see how juicy and tender this meat is. Oh, this looks really good. We're gonna take a bite into this. So the hamburg steak is like really good. So you get like super tender, juicy cut of beef and other spices and vegetables. But it's really juicy and tender. It's so good. Not to mention, came out on a sizzling plate. But it's not sizzling now. But I think it's interesting that they give you a side of pasta here. Mm. Food here is definitely good. So, if you never had hamburger steak before, I would definitely compare it to like an American meatloaf. The texture is pretty similar and some of the taste of meatloaf is pretty similar to, to the steak. But it's definitely different. It has its own, uh, its own flair to it. Oh, definitely had a good meal eating that hamburg steak, but but we're gonna have to get some dessert at Mr. Donut. So this is their equivalent of Dunkin' Donuts in Japan. I haven't been in this chain yet, so we're gonna see what they have to offer. So we're inside a Mr. Donut. The donut actually looks really good. So they have golden chocolate, honey churros, 
They're old fashioned. French cooler. Mm. Here's chocolate, custard cream, angel French, high chocolate coated French curlers. Okay, we're gonna get a strawberry one. Let's see, what else do I want? I think that should be good. Time to taste this French cooler. But these two should be fine. Oh, so we just got our donuts, and they give you like this really cute bag. Pond Lion and Kanahi's Small Animals. Mm. Must be a collaboration. So here's our strawberry donut from Mr. Donut. And here's our Christmas wreath donut. This one looks pretty cool. So the music at Mr. Donut was a little bit too loud, so you couldn't really hear my voice, so I had to do this voiceover. So the strawberry donut was by far average at most. It was something that I could probably find anywhere in the United States, but the Pond de Reef pistachio donut was really good. So this donut is a lot different from donuts that you would normally find in the US, seeing how the texture is a lot different. It's a little bit chewy, which is similar to mochi, if you ever had that before. But overall, Mr. Donut was an enjoyable spot. I did not expect to see basically their entire selection available at 9 p.m. In the U.S., most donut places are sold out of their donuts by the afternoon or even by the morning if it's a really popular location. What's also nice is that all their donuts are really affordable and cheap too. You're not paying like 4 or $5 for a fancy trendy donut. Everything's probably around $1 or $2 at most. So this is a rare treat right here where the market is empty but this time they have the lights up this time last time we came here they didn't have the lights up or they didn't have the branches at the top but this looks really nice here we have the dogs pose in front of Carmen Ariman gate they've been waiting for so long they're gonna start going uh, <laughs> Pretty much just heading back to the guest house right now and then we'll start another day in Tokyo tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>